Hello viewers and welcome to Daily Politics. On this program, we discuss issues around politics, policy and governance. I am Hamza Idris. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, alongside Vice President Kashim Shetima and the All Progressive Congress concluded their defense in a petition filed by the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, Peter Obi, seeking to invalidate the February 25 presidential election. Despite initially initial plan to present 39 witnesses, Tinubu decided to end the defense after the testimony of Senate Majority Leader Michael Opemi Bamidele. During his testimony, Senator Bamidele maintained that the $460,000 forfeited against Tinubu, the presidential candidate by an American court, was related to a civil matter and did not constitute criminal charges. As a former chairman of the Senate Committee of Judiciary and registered member of the American Bar Association, by immediately stated that there was no conviction or sentence against Tinubu, which is required by law for criminal charges to be filed. And is there any side to the crisis brewing in the ruling All Progressive Congress? Feelers have it that a section in the leadership of the APC is not in tune or rather in agreement with some of the nominations made by the presidency, such as the consensus candidate for the Senate presidency and speakership positions, and also recently appointments of principal officers in the National Assembly. With barely a week left to the National Working Committee meeting of the APC and also the caucus meeting scheduled for 10th and 11th, there has been a seeming disquiet over the chairmanship of the party, Senator Abdullah Adamu, and those on his side, especially with multiple accusations leveled against him by Salih Lukman, the national vice chairman northwest of the party, and other people. Despite the state of affairs in the party, its director of publicity, Bala Ibrahim, has however maintained that all is well. Take a look. There are people who are making a kill out of the relationship between the presidency and the party, between the party and the legislature. What they want to achieve, I don't know, but I think it's all part of the politics. Unfortunately, the chairman of the party has all it takes. He has the maturity, he has the experience, he has the exposure, and within the limit of his age, he has the energy to confront the situation as it is. But I can tell you from what is going on, it is not a situation that is out of control. It is not a situation that cannot be handled. The dynamism of politics entails this kind of things. And they will be attended to appropriately and action will come at the right time. That was Bala Ibrahim, Director of Publicity of the All Progressives Congress. Joining us to discuss these issues and more, I have in the studio Yusuf Zongo, the opinion editor at Daily Trust and also in-house analyst for Trust TV. Also joining him is Kende Amodu, veteran journalist with vast experience covering the presidential villa. He's also our in-house analyst. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thank you very much. And we'll take a short break. When we return, the conversation commences. Stay with us. Ah, Malam Zongo, maybe I should start with you. Okay. You have had Bala Ibrahim. Of course, he's the mouthpiece of the APC. And by extension, mouthpiece of um, Senator Abdullah. We yeah. say he has the energy, he has the contacts, he has the wherewithal, and almost everything to confront the problem. Is he ready to confront you? <laughs> well, well I, I, don't, I don't know uh, what um, uh, Bala Ibrahim was relying on. Well, he said that he is in a better position to know the strengths of his principal. But uh, in the dynamics, politics of Nigeria, mm. where at the national level you have the president as the leader of the party, you know, it was just created uh, by fiat, I think, uh, from Obasanjo's time. And at the state level, you have the governor who is the leader of the party there. So uh, it's, it's quite difficult for anybody to come in and say, look, I'm going to challenge the president. I'm you now, the president is in the process of um, 
appointing his uh, uh, aides and uh, ministers and all that, and uh, many people will be looking for uh, one favor or the other from him. So they wouldn't like to be seen to be on the side of somebody who will not uh, help in their cause. So I really, uh, to me, Abdullah Adama has a very high killian task to face uh, if he's really coming out to confront the president on this issue. Yes, uh, Mr. Kende, you are covering the, the villa. At any other time, I will witness something like this because it's practical. You can see the, the, the misunderstanding. And going by all the people we have in the National Assembly. Look at Babidele, he was the one who represented um, Tinibu at the tribunal, right? Today. Now, who and who are with Abdullah Adam from your estimation? I, I think uh, if we look back into history yes. of presidents, when a president assumes office, the position of national chairman of the party is always in danger. Wow. Basically, all from the time of um, Obasanjo. Obasanjo till now. And the basic reason is this. All the dynamics that go into producing the president, um, sometimes it might even just be because of the zonal structure yes. of the party. Meaning that the national chair might not be at fault. He might not be at fault. Mm. But there are some times that um, maybe the national chairman has, by inaction or words, done something that is against the interest of the president before he came on stream. And as so, in the case of Tinubu and Abdullah Adamu. As in and the what, case... What came to my mind is actually the, the endorsement, right? Yes. As in the case of... Um, uh, Senator Ahmed Lawan. Even right. uh, uh, not even Ahmed Lawan. Okay. As in the case of uh, Good Luck Jonathan and uh, Ogulafo. Yeah. Okay. You are going back. I'm Mamuru going Lane. back, Mamuru Lane. Yes. Because you know that in the in the intrigues that led to the acting president's yes, the, uh, the, the, the uh, doctrine of necessity. Yes. Doctrine of necessity. Mm. Before that necessity was adopted, at a meeting, the national chairman. Vincent de Gulafo has said that acting president is alien to our constitution. And he didn't have to say it. But you know, immediately he said it. And then the acting president thing sailed through. Me. It, it was very clear that the president he has picked sides and the sides was not with the president. Wow. So if, if we look at the Consensus candidate of uh, Ahmed Lawan during the, the which was campaign. announced, which was announced, yeah, by Abdullah Adam. By Abdullah Adam. It also had pitched Tinubu against uh, Abdullah Adam against Tinubu, and so despite politicians are funny people. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will smile at each other, but the sides have already been taken. We had that they even met today. Yeah, you know, after the bombshell, because I saw what Abdullah Adamu did yesterday as a bombshell, you know, mm. meeting with the progressive governors, saying that he was not aware of the, you know, selection of Bamidele, uh, Deb Umahi, uh, Ali Ndume, Lola Shuru, and all that as, you know, leader, majority, I mean, majority leader, chief whip, deputy chief whip, deputy majority leader, in that order. Now, do you think Abdullah Adam wanted to send a message when he said he was not really aware of how they arrived at these people. Well, Especially, you know, being the chairman of the party. And, you know, it's not like this, ele I mean, the election of uh, Akpabio, which was done by the senators, right? The senators, this yeah. one was actually supposed the, to be within the, the premises of the party, yeah. the presidency, or whatever uh, other person we, we can call. Well, to me, I think he has, he, has, he must have made a, a, a mistake because if this is the responsibility of the party and it was very apparent that the announcement was going to be made yesterday, why did he wait that late? It's, it was something that he could have intervened. If somebody was trying to sideline him, he should have shouted as he shouted yesterday, 
By the time he shouted yesterday, it was terribly too late. I don't see the Senate or the party or the president changing this. And apparently, and uh, most uh, probably, I think about 90% sure that the announcement was done with the express understanding or support of the president. So I think these are issues which they should have come in before they were announced publicly, mm. not after. And for him to wait this, I think it was a bit too late. And as a veteran politician, I think uh, to me he has shot himself in the foot for uh, allowing himself to be outmaneuvered at the, uh, on, on that issue. If you look at uh, even the uh, election of uh, the uh, Senate president, uh, speaker, they, they drag it and he got involved in uh, one way or the other. And at the at a time, he agreed to it. So yeah, for, that was right. yeah that, that was something you said that it was going to uh, which we know that it was the responsibility of the senators to our uh, and the members to choose their yeah. uh, even at then the party was there. Mm. So for him to just wait for uh, uh, an like appointment, you, yeah. uh, an appointment which is uh, largely the sole responsibility of the party, I think it's a little bit. Uh, sluggish on his part. Are you on the same page with uh, Malan Zango? Maybe was he sidelined? Do you think so, some, uh, someone like Abdullah Demu can be sidelined? Oh, he is just being, I don't want to use the word cantankerous, you know, in expressing his anger as to uh, what is happening. Uh, if you know the character of uh, Abdullah Adam, you know that he's a person that speaks his mind. He speaks his mind, yeah, yes. No matter what. Maybe because of the age or the experience? Or, or the experience. He speaks his mind, no matter whether even if it is a, a disadvantage to him, he speaks his mind. Which brings me to this issue of um, party supremacy yeah. and the understanding of the Nigerian policy, uh, politician of party supremacy. I believe, this is my personal op opinion, that party supremacy cannot be, cannot stand if the national chairman and the presidency and the president mm. are not on the same page. Yeah. If those two men are not on the same page, then we can forget about the issue of party supremacy. The, the uh, national the, the, chairman the, you, Are needs, you saying now the, like, the, the power of the president will dwarf whatever influence the party chairman can exude? What I'm saying is that he needs the support of the president oh. to be able to enforce party supremacy. Mm. It doesn't operate in a vacuum. Yeah. You understand? And so, you know, we, we have this paradox that we have. We, we talk about why should, uh, why is there no party supremacy? Uh, we, and then of late, we are now hearing that the party must be supreme. Mm. There are two paradoxes because, and this is why I'm um, presenting this position, that party supremacy depends on two major actors. Yes. The president, the national chairman. If they are not on the same page, then you should forget about party supremacy. And I think this is, this is what is uh, playing out here. I believe that, yes, the national chairman may want to stand on party supremacy. But this president is working with a wide range of groups. Yeah, the interests. Wide Huge. range of interests. And some of these interests will just do his will even if he doesn't say so. Because wow. they want to say on his, on his good side. But uh, do you think the president, I mean, the, the national chairman is alone in this? Is it crusade? Is it a uh, suicide mission? <laughs> well, <laughs> for now it appears <laughs> like that. I think, uh, uh, as I said earlier, now uh, it's very difficult for uh, it takes uh, people like Abdullah Adam to come out and uh, say what he said. And uh, for anybody to support him, he has to be just like Abdullah Adam also, to be bold enough to say, look, the president or whoever was behind the host appointment. You have done wrong. Um, we 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 are not aware of what happened. So and we demand that this is our responsibility. We should do it. And it will be difficult for most of the members of the NWC, who I, do, I believe now is a time to for payback, and they're expecting 
juicy appointments for them to come and uh, say, yeah, look. And, you know, it happened during the primaries when uh, Abdullah Adam came and said, okay, they have agreed on uh, uh, Amelon. Yes. Most of them came back out to say no. So I don't know whether they have been able to mend that uh, crack within, within, so, the within the NWC itself. So if, maybe likely they haven't. So uh, Abdullah Adam may find himself alone. If he's alone, um, Kende, do you think we will have seen what we saw, especially in respect to the emergence of Akpabio? He had only 17 votes apart with what Abdelaziz Yari, you know, got. And that Philas, you know, had it then that um, beyond the party and beyond the presidency, there are some powerful forces outside that are actually, I mean, teleguiding or manipulating or actually working for a certain interest. Mm, I believe that, I believe that there are several forces at play here. Okay. Um, but up until this point, the forces that support the president are the ones that are getting the upper hand. They are getting the upper hand mm, at yes, every level. At yeah. every level. Because uh, approaching the election of the Senate president, the, the leaders of the National Assembly. Yes, speaker, speaker, deputy speaker, yeah, deputy senate president. The president had to get involved. Which he did. Which he did. And he had his way. And he had his way. So, and... and so that was one zero. That was one zero. And if I am mm -hmm. to take you back, you know, when even the list of the favorite candidates of the party mm -hmm. emerged, you know, I think we were here together, yeah. two of you. Um, even then, I think the same of the lad who said that <laughs> that He's, list was exactly, not coming. Exactly, exactly, right? yeah. Yes. <sighs> so two zero. <laughs> okay, one zero. Now this is two zero. This is two zero. You want to <laughs> no, no, I, I, I <laughs> because think it's really a delicate it's, matter it's not, if you look at it. It's not. A, it's a very clear. I said it before mm. because the, pol uh, the politics of Nigeria has been made in such a way that the president is the alpha and omega. Oh my God. Once, and you like, have the, once you have that, and, uh, and, the and same, was it you or you when you know we were discussing the other time that Tinu was just waiting to be sworn in exactly, mm -hmm. and, and uh, that he will now exactly will be so. Big so uh, like when we saw 1979, why even Shagari had to defer to the chairman of the party, but now it's uh, you know you can finish whatever you want to do at the NWC. That's why they have this NWC. By the time they finish and they present it to NEC meeting, they, they may, the NEC may just throw it away from them. And you find that, as he said, after every election, the chairman is uh, an endangered speech. Yeah. So, and uh, most, uh, the president would like to see, look, who will I go along with in the as, next four as years the as most the party so chairman. There is this allegation that at initial, the emergence of Adela Adam was to do a certain bidding, mm -hmm. to retain power in the North. Is that correct? <laughs> and is this what is playing out now? It was an allegation that certain cabal brought in that he was the only person who can actually look at every other person in the face and say, this is what we want. And that was why he was bold enough to say, I'm Lawan who was the man to beat at that time. Yes, it was a play. And, uh, and, and, and it now pitched the, the party leadership against the governors. Yes. Who had already decided that we are going south. Now, uh, if, you look at, um, if you look at politics generally, do you think that those governors who are just being altruistic by throwing it to the south, there must have been some negotiations and agreements. Yeah. With the South. With the not South. Not necessarily to the yeah. Yeah. No, 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 not necessarily. With the South. In with the South, that yeah. this is what we'll get. And that is why when you see some things playing out, like, for instance, when the issue of the leadership of the, uh, in the National Assembly came up, and people were arguing that why is the Northwest getting two yeah. posts? Yeah. Deputy. The slide of the, the bread. Yeah. Yeah. Far above. Yeah. Other, uh, so. Far above. Uh, 
But do you, you, you also have to take your mind back to the fact that the push before the, all the other, before the rest of the North yeah. caught up, the push for the, for the uh, Southern presidency came from the Northwest, North North particularly uh, Kebi. Jigawa yeah, and Kaduna. 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 Exactly. Yeah. All in the northwest. And, even and Kano. Kano. Yeah, even Kano. Yeah. All yeah. in the northwest. So you, if you understand those politics, then we are yet to see, you know, we are yet to see the end of the, of the political play. I was a bit agitated when um, the, the, the governors yesterday said, after what Abdullah told them, they said, no, we are in tune. We, we agree with what happened, what played out in the National Assembly. <laughs> oh, that, so, that, that's <laughs> what I told you. Even uh, when you spoke about the NUC, NWC, whether they, any one of them would back him. Because as I said, now the president is in charge. And wow. everybody will. In Nigeria, you find that. Uh, the central government takes charge of almost everything. Uh, you find we have been made in such a way that even your drainage, you start calling for the, on the federal government to come everything and do it. Stops so uh, every, every, everybody wants to be on the side of uh, the president. And Mark, you, the leader of the progressive government is facing an election, Oziduma. Wow. So he wouldn't like to be seen to be opposing the president. Definitely. <sighs> But are, are they being fair to the system? Let me take it to uh, this. Uh, number one, have they shamed Abdullah Adam now? If, can we say they have shamed him? They have disowned him? No, they didn't disown they him. Didn't. They just reminded him of how the play of things exactly. is. Exactly. exactly. See, but it's a subtle, it's a subtle throwing him <laughs> off the bus. No, they just reminded him, brought him back. On, uh, on track. On track. But do you think that he forgot? I think he knows what he's doing, this man. Uh, yes, he does. <laughs> because you but, said it earlier. <laughs> but you see, the character of the presidency, yes. as, as per the politics, if we didn't have an ex-military man as the first president yeah, yeah. in the new dispensation, maybe things would be done differently uh, yeah, now. Uh, but the, the, the mentality, no matter how democratic, a, 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 or converted a military man is as president mm -hmm. is so. the unitary style of governance yeah. in which everything must collapse to his yeah. will. Yeah, you understand. And 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 if you see, uh, that was the force of will with which uh, Abbas on your ruled. There was a slight deviation when between the, within the years of um, Yaradwa and Good Luck Jonathan. Then. Go back to square one. Back to square one with, yeah. with, with the President Buhari. So now, you understand? Mm. That is why I said they reminded him of how the system is. Can we say an opposition within the ruling party is, well, is brewing now? Well, and Abdullah Demu is championing this no, opposition. Not really, but it has been the practice, uh, I think, in this country that you find that we had that with PDP. You have the and PDP. We had that uh, now again, uh, even with the APC. You know, we continue to have that. So, because opposition more vicious more, than ex from without. Oh, from within than from without. Because uh, all along, I think by now it will have been the PDP who will say, look, uh, what the president has done is wrong, this policy is wrong. But now they are busy within. And uh, uh, if PDP says, uh, raises opposition, it's the party that will come and defend the president. Now, they are all oh, opposing man. each other. So that's the, the problem. The, another problem with the uh, politics in Nigeria is that we have weak opposition. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a time maybe for PDP to, to, to take, rise, up to, rise up to take advantage and say, look, look at the kind of people you, you have voted in. Right from that go, they, are, they have started fighting. But they, are all, they, are all, they also don't care. But some people are saying the APC has already fragmented the, the opposition, going by what we have now. Even no, the, no, no. those who emerge the from within the opposition in the National Assembly, you can see they have subtle support or even strong support from um, the presidency camp. Yes, but, but see, the, like he said, you know, when you mix water and oil together, everyone will find this level. Yeah. You understand? That is the reason, the reason why we have this kind of politics 
in Nigeria is because you have two strong political parties. And then, um, you know, maybe the third, the third and fourth is coming along now. Now, if there had been strong uh, divisions and you had like three, four strong political parties, mm. then this uh, level of fragmentization uh, yeah. would, not, would not be so evident. Yeah. But now you have, you probably have two political parties within one party or and, three. And, and you can see even within the opposition, I mean, many expected someone like Tambual to be the minority leader. Yes, uh, but uh, even within the PDP, I mean, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> even within, within the PDP, they had their own opposition. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I think uh, the major problem, and I keep saying this in this country, is the fact that uh, we don't do the politics of uh, principles. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so everybody is to, for himself. Mm. And uh, everybody tries to position himself, mm. you know, and uh, be, be in a poor position so that he can enjoy the spoils of the... Uh, of the war. Oh, exactly. Okay, before we go on break, um, caucus will meet on the tenth. Yes. Just a few days from now, oh. and then neck the next day. Do you see Abdullah Adam surviving beyond these two meetings? Um, if if the if uh, matters had been concluded in the courts, I would not see him surviving oh. but now because matters are still mm. in the courts i think the president Which will be the, the next part of our mm. conversation uh -huh. okay. i think the powers that be will tread carefully oh. so as not to not give to throw the baby with the bath uh -huh. uh -huh. not to, uh -huh. so as not to give room for any idea of there being insurrection insurrection mm. Okay. You, so you agree also, I uh, agree. I agree. Definitely. They will that, still tarry a while. Still tarry, they will still and, tarry uh, a while. And the point between this crisis probably and the neck meeting is a little bit. But in politics, anything can happen. Anything can anything happen. Can happen. Yeah. Maybe there will be many fences. Well, he why may. not? He met uh, the oh, he he met the president today. We yes, he met. We didn't know what they discussed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, all right. Thank you happen. very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we'll go a short break, and when we return the conversation. Continue to stay with us. Welcome back. If you are just joining, this is Daily Politics on Trust TV. Do well to follow the conversation across our social platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and watch us live on YouTube. Still have in the studio, far right, Kendi Amodu, our in-house analyst who has been covering the villa for a very, very long time. So you know all the politics there. <laughs> and then uh, here on my right, uh, Yusuf Zongo, also our in-house analyst, opinion editor, and former editor-in-chief of News Agency of Nigeria. We ended the, you know, first session with big laughter that anything can happen because um, the president and Abdullah Demu met, yeah. you know, tonight. And you have, you say anything can happen. I mean, that he may live beyond the the, the yeah. next meeting. But what do you think will form the larger part of the conversation by caucus and later by? The neck. Uh, de 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 definitely, the this issue will come up so that uh, they should try and uh, strengthen uh, strengthen themselves and see how the party can move. Even if uh, later on there will be some changes. For now, they need that unity, and uh, uh, probably the president will realize that he has so he has brought in so many policies 
which he needs the party to explain to Nigerians. Oh, okay. uh, yes, and uh, he, it's not an issue for those, for himself and those surrounding him. He needs other people, and uh, the, the wider the support, the better for him. Probably that's, uh, uh, that's it. But at the same time, you can't rule out those who feel that they want to carry on the fight. Mm. And they may be close to the president and tell him, look, don't allow this guy to continue because if he does, you know, they will give him so many uh, bad side of the... Okay, they may be like Salih Ulukumai. I don't know his closeness to he, the president, he, he, but you can see he has written 1,001 letters. Well, uh, for... Saying that Abdullah uh, Adamu should resign, saying that he should be propped over the money generated for, you know, uh, form, from forms to fund the party and all. Well, uh, for mm. me, well, that issue, well, come on. I, 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 don't, I don't think he should I, be much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, because uh, uh, the Salu Lukuma has been in the center of all the controversy. You can even think during the when he was the director said, uh, yeah, yeah. DG of uh, Governors Forum. I know uh, even at that position, he was saying so many things, and uh, people were even wondering. Uh, under what uh, uh, yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. you know, and he, I will believe he had a. Uh, uh, or forces behind him to be making those statements and uh, surviving. Now he's in the core uh, of the party, being a national vice president, the Northwest. So he, he will just continue. And he will think that th those were the reasons that brought him to where he is now. Okay, finally, on this from you, Kende, what do you think the president should do to reduce acrimony within the ruling party and face governance squarely? I think you should just face governors. The issue of acrimony will not go down. It will not. Uh, That's on your experience. Yes. Uh, APC is a marriage of too many yeah, forces, yeah, forces, yeah. forces. Interest. Yeah. So he, he should just maintain a middle line. No. Uh, despite um, all they said about President Buhari, that was one of his um, um, gifts. Okay. He knew how to turn his face away from the distractions. So he deliberately uh, uh, did because not... Because they say he wasn't a party man. That was how people describe Buhari. Yes. Maybe because he don't want their trouble. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Because as president, a lot of people, <laughs> different people will come, come to you, to you. <laughs> and say they are, they are beat. And, you know, according to those that met with him, yeah. he won't say a word. He'll just look at them. When you finish? When you finish, you say, I've heard you. Oh and my there God! You, go. so, so you, go you don't even have any takeaway. <laughs> you don't you have go. a takeaway. You understand? So yes. I think that that mm, would work. Yeah, yeah that would work. For because me. Nigeria has too many interests. Mm, you it. see that even in the mix, mm. members of the opposition are also coming to see the president. Exactly. Yes. Yes. For instance, former Senate President and former Secretary to the Government of Federation, Ayin Pius Ayin. Yes. Yeah. And Ulisa Metu, the former Ulisa national, Metu. I was the national publicity yes. secretary the of CDP, both came to see the what, president What were they today? doing there, Malam? <laughs> no, well, I wouldn't know. I'd be mean, better ask her. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if this one would not say that. I don't know if this one would not say that. I don't know if this one would not really know. Why are all these people going? Guso Konkoso, Kwebene PP. Some people from a Ledo party. Eh? Sunusi Lamido Sunusi was there. The technocrats, the opposition, the traditional rulers. Ministers have not been appointed yet. Ministers have not been appointed yet. Exactly. Okay. Heads of a uh, chairman of, of uh, boards, uh, boards of uh, 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 members of boards of parastators have not been appointed yes. yet. There are a whole list of things. And uh, so, do you think he will pick uh, the the, the metals? Everybody must make a play. The pious and, argues they can the, all make. At, at, at the end of the day. The, the APC, especially those around the president, will say it's going to be government of national unity. Exactly. Then. But I hope the, the ship will carry all of them. So that they will not add to the crisis within the APC. You said the APC, strange bad mm -hmm. Now by the time you bring all of this, all of this uh, so I don't know how it's going to, to play no, out. It's better in the, in the presidential villa. Uh -huh. because, because of the security um, structure. Not mm. everybody can enter. Yeah. Mm. So after a while, you know, after a while, uh, many of the APC members mm. complained that they all escorted uh, the former president into yes. Villa. Yeah. And then he shut the door against all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now, 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 who will actually 
talk for Nigerians. You can see the politicians there on merry go round. Inflation. No palliative. And who will talk? Will you talk on behalf of Nigeria? Rising cost of living. You can see people can't even go to work. Yeah, that, that's the truth. But uh, I think uh, the reality in this country, which I keep saying is the fact that for now, I think Nigerians have to bear with what uh, they are having. Because they made you go around around the politicians? Uh, yeah, the politicians don't bother for now. Oh my, because yeah. they, have, they have access because to when you, what remains of yeah, the subsidy. Well, well, well just no. a typical example. One example I will okay. give you is the fact that... that this, uh, since the removal of false subsidy, mm. none of the state government has done anything to question the effect of this locally. They don't need to wait locally. for the, the gov federal government to do it. They can do it locally, except maybe the Borno state, state government, which came Borno, in. Which, yeah, Borno. Uh, yeah, which came Edo, in. Edo, Edo also. Edo, Edo. Yeah. Uh, but you can see, I don't know, it's like we are in a circus because Quara, which reduced exactly they just is uh, reversing because they have gone back <laughs> exactly i don't know whether ondo will do the same they will uh, go back they to will the because five day work they will do week. But even if they don't it is going to be uh, uh, nonsensical somebody even has to leave for some uh, for some civil servant he would like even to leave his house okay. even if he's not going anywhere mm. in the name of that he's going to work now, if you have said, no, please don't go today, it's off day, he remains in the house, his wife will ask, his children will ask, and he doesn't have anything. Oh my God, we had that uh, states like Lagos and Osho will increase, uh, like they are planning to increase. Yeah, the, maybe they have, that's uh, well, better. Lagos I know, but I don't know about Osho. Lagos okay. has the capacity to, to, do, do, that, to yeah. do that. Now, the, the, the problem I, I, I envisage going forward is that when these negotiations for salary increase mm -hmm. come through and then you agree on a w minimum wage. So I say it shouldn't be less than 100,000. How many states will be Which able is, to... Um, no. How many dollars now if you put it 100,000? Uh, that's uh, 100 and something oh, uh, uh, dollars. But even, uh, I, don't, I don't believe uh, states will... Uh, because uh, uh, we reported uh, was it, uh, last week that uh, they are likely to get more money because the uh, uh, subsidy, the uh, removal, will enable them to generate more money. And uh, the collapse of the exchange system also will enable the government to get more money. So I don't think... Uh, what, more, I money, don't or more money, in, how do you define more, how do you define more no, money? Uh, more devalued money. Exactly, but uh, well, yeah, at least... Mm -hmm. They can share it. Uh, you have the feeling that you have yeah, something in your pocket. And, and people, your pocket. People, people are still doubting if 100,000 will suffice. Because how much does it take you to fill your tank now? Uh, Mine I, is I almost 30,000. I, I, so I don't want to about, think. Don't uh, uh, and from where you come? Uh, it's 30,000. Uh, meaning uh, you, you, uh, you have to fill your tank how many times uh, a week? At least if I fill one well, once a week, uh, it, it takes me... Well, uh, and it's 25,000 maybe? Uh, no, 30,000. 30,000. 30, so, oh, so in a month more. you need like 120,000 yeah, yeah. to fill exactly. your tank. Yeah. That that is, that's no, the, that's no, no talk of other oh, things. Yes. Uh, the schools are just going to close. The school fees would be on, uh, would be, and, and you are actually upper middle class. You are also upper middle class. <laughs> no, I don't think there is no, there is no longer ordinary Nigerians now. There is no middle class uh, anymore. Maybe have they wiped them out. Uh, have yes. wiped ordinary yeah, Nigerians yes. out. You, you, from we, the there, yes, yes. Unfortunately, so yes. we'll bring them back to life. Well, we hope uh, because the president has been giving us the assurance that he's okay. going to do something. But what we hope is that he's going to do it fast. Okay. Because okay. really the country is in, uh, in, uh, is in their it's on the precipice. You're on the same page? Yes, I Okay, do. let's move to the tribunal. We hope, we don't know what will happen. But today, initially, you know, at the preliminary stages, I remember that um, Tinubu assembled over 50 senior advocates of Nigeria. Uh, Peter Obi, too. Atiku. But today, for instance, they, they have closed their case, right? Yeah. What is your take on all the uh, pomp and pageantry around rallying senior advocates of Nigeria? <laughs> that, was, uh, that was an overkill. Wow. Just a show of, you know, what the military call show of force. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a show of force. Okay. But it, it, it goes down to the basics. What's mm. the case about? I think maybe he assembled uh, 50 for an, over, for an overkill. 
then they re then they realize that you don't really need 50 sons. The case is... Is it that they did all the leg walks? I mean, uh, all the sons before no, uh, uh, his um, you know, lawyer... You know, you know we, we, we've been having this kind of thing in this country right from the word go. You know, you uh, assemble all... You remember the, the Labour Party yes. uh, lawyer when he was going to uh, inspect the electrician material? Yes, at INE. At INE. He went with 400 lawyers. 100. 100. To do what? It's this is something that he can send his junior Maybe it's a show of force. It's a show of force. That's the kind of thing. <laughs> well, I think in this country we believe in so much drama. Mm. Not the real aspect of it. Mm. Actually, they said they were, uh, PDP and LP said they were calling uh, more than 100 witnesses. They ended up with 27. So what's this? it's not even Isn't surprising. That is, uh, we're not no, there. they were. They were not. They, they were discovered no that they were not re relevant to that. Re yeah, mm. When it go comes down to reality, to, to scratch, mm. you understand. Uh, then the court processes kick in. Mm, yeah. Then uh, some of your evidence may not even be relevant. Be relevant or even be uh, be accepted. Exactly. And maybe those are those pieces of evidence are what you are building your case on, on one part of your case is on. So once they defeat that or they, they refuse to, <laughs> to accept it, well, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. They have to fall by the wayside. Now to the specifics, mm -hmm. for instance, you know, um, Obi accused Tinubu of not having qualification. Yes. Right? And when his lawyer um, presented their own side of the argument, you know, they tendered his qualification, you know, from the United States. The same with, you know, other allegations. Are we not belittling ourselves, talking about qualification of our leaders? President Buhari, in my mind, you know, he reached the peak of his career as general. And, you know, when he won, this was in 2015, part of the uh, challenge just taken to court was that he doesn't have secondary school certificate. Someone who reached the zenith mm -hmm. of his military career. No, I, I don't. And was uh, military head of state. No, I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think it is that. Okay. The issue has to do with the law. The electoral law provides the minimum qualification. Yes. So if uh, Tinubu decided that the minimum is secondary school, is it? Uh, with all his... Uh, degrees at Chicago and wherever, he decided, look, I'll just present my uh, school living certificate, secondary school. Mm. That's the end of it. Yeah. But if he decided to say, okay, I also want to present my degree certificate, then it's subject to challenge also. Yeah. Whether it is right or wrong is something for the court to decide. But the court, pro uh, sorry, the law provides for that and you open yourself. That's why some people, some of those who contested just Restricted themselves to the minimum. Yeah. Okay. So Even though this is what are you who say. Are master's well, degree, yeah. You but they just tend that exactly school because so. uh, you you don't know. Uh, you know, in politics here, they say if you want to know your your the first boyfriend or, or the first mother, mother or grandmother, <laughs> go just go into politics. Wow. So that's a, uh, that's my understanding of it. So are you surprised that uh, the close, even though Atiku and Obido took such a long time, you know, there was quite a drama, you know, presenting witnesses, pre you know, tons of yeah. documents and all that. But Tinubu at the end of the day, within two days, right, they just put in their own defense and said, okay, we are good to go. Is that, is that enough? for them to have this feeling that they will have their way. I think basically without prejudice to the case, yeah. Basically based on maybe what maybe what evidence has been That's presented. Showcased, yeah. Yeah. showcased by the the, the accusers. Uh, I think yeah. maybe um they would have their they will have their conference, yeah, they'll sit the down, lawyers, look, uh, look sift it. through yeah. all yeah. the evidence and then decide well, we don't need to, to answer, answer, everything. answer everything. We can yeah. just answer it with two witnesses. Wow. And that's that. Uh, uh, plus, now, me, I'm, uh, let me say from, for the benefit of experience, Yes. I don't see, I don't see. Mm -hmm. that's Without prejudice to the outcome. Uh, hey, I don't see 
any court obtaining the result as at now. No. This is well, what um, uh, Buba Galadima said. Yeah, but... Has never yeah. happened since 1999. With due apologies to the courts, we are not <laughs> actually trying no, to determine yeah, or preempt yeah, the outcome. Yes, yeah. but uh, you found that even from the start of the case, there was so much drama, yeah. not deception. So, you know, we spent a lot of time uh, de uh, deciding whether it should, the uh, proceedings should be broadcast live or not. Mm. All those <laughs> kinds of things were unnecessary. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, uh, the so problem we had was... Comic really. they, exactly, there were more of sentimental issues. So uh, the issue became even a social media issue. Mm. You go to Twitter, you see this side saying this, this side is as if you, they, they wanted even to decide the case there. On the salvo the, the the fired by the Labour Party, I mean by um, Tinubu, is that um, Obi at the first instance was a member of PDP when he vied for the presidency on that Labour Party. Yes. <laughs> and they have the evidence to, they to, to, evidence. to, to, to prove it. Yeah, so, on so. May 27th. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's something that we, well, let us switch and see. Uh, what the course will decide. So what are some of the lessons for Nigerians so far, the journey so far from February when we had the election and all that and the concluding part okay. of all this? I think this country is a resilient country. Okay. You can't take it away from Nigeria. Yes. All the crises that come and all, you think we are at the precipice, then the country writes itself. And so people are accusing the international community of actually bruising all wounds to bring them back, like the EU report. You can see the backlash, I mean, the comments from different quarters that this election took place in February. The president has been sworn in. Now uh, you are dishing out reports saying it was actually below expectation. You have just 10 seconds to <laughs> have your take on this. Well, uh, they, they can have their say. Yeah. The point is, those elections had been concluded mm. um, to a large extent. All the governments of their countries had congratulated the yeah, president. Man, so this is after the it's fact. It's just by the way. Uh, what about you? What is your take well, on the I, I, EU I, I, I was surprised that uh, for EU, which uh, had uh, not more than 100 observers to have come out with that conclusion. Okay. That's all. Maybe they use local observers too. Local observers, I think they <laughs> must have rel they uh, relied on uh, social media. Social not even, media, the, they sat down not even the traditional armchairs. media. All right. <laughs> not <laughs> even the traditional media, oh, actually. Have a good time on the show, yes. and we thank you very much, uh, Yusuf Zongo, our opinion editor thank and uh, in-house columnist. Uh, Kendi Amodu, thank you for coming. Thank you. And continue much. giving us the best from the villa. Thank you. I will hope you enjoy the program. We did. We did. Us, we <laughs> you too. Thank you for watching. Join us tomorrow for another interesting package. Bye bye for now. I'm Hamza Idris.